Here are some tips on what to avoid at the College of Staten Island. Parking tickets. Take it from me, you can't trick your way into a free spot on campus. A parking decal costs about $109 a year, and that's a steal compared to the amount of debt you'll rack up from tickets. According to the campus faculty, visitors to the college who do not go to the school can park safely on the lot next to the gym. Naturally, students try to get away with parking here and fail. Underestimating gym class. Physical education class is mandatory, and it only counts as one credit. Does it suck? Yeah, kind of. Does it have to be taken seriously? According to your gym professor, yes. Nobody actually wants to take this class, but without it, you can't graduate. You'll have to pay for this one credit class again if you don't pass the first time. All professors vary in what physical activity they teach. Building 6S. Okay, so if your major has anything to do with science, you won't be able to avoid this building. Therefore, this tip serves as more of a warning for when you can't escape it, get to campus early. The parking lot for building 6S is always full, all of the time. In order to get a spot here at any time of day, you have to sit in the lot and wait for someone to leave. This activity causes major stress when trying to get to class on time. I suggest getting used to parking further away, most likely in the lot near the library. Waiting too long for an internship. When you get to be a senior, things can get pretty wacky. Maybe you're excited to finish up with school and get a job. Maybe you are looking to get a graduate's degree somewhere else. Or maybe you're confused and still don't know what to do with your life. Whatever your mind may be busy fumbling over, don't forget what is important, finishing your classes and getting an internship. Waiting too long to sign up for classes. Warning to all lazy students. Check your email. It's not your fault if your sign-up date is later than most others, but it is your fault if you don't go sign up for the classes on the date given to you. At the end of every semester, you will get a letter sent to your college email address that provides the date on which you can sign up for next semester's classes. So for more tips and tricks on colleges and universities, check out our website.